Hey guys, a storm is coming, uh, but that doesn't mean 75 hard stops. Right, Sasha? Just wanted to give you a little life update. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone who's been so kind and sweet. Well, I took a little social media break and still grieving the loss of my son. That will never stop. Um, but the perspective shift does get easier when someone is at a point in their life and they are in pain and they're not okay. And to know that they're now okay because they're no longer not okay is like the only thing that's <laughs> keeping me going. I'm just loving on the dogs that are around. You know, you just keep, you just keep passing the torch. So they're playing with all his toys and wearing his collar and stuff. It's, oh, it's hot. So I remember the day that this happened, I was like, should I, you know, just not do 75 hard for a day? I'm on day 44, by the way. And everyone around me was like, no, you're more than halfway through. This is going to give you an outlet to express your pain. And Noodles wouldn't want you to just sit and be sad. Like Noodles always wanted what was best for his mommy. And so that's what I did. I still worked out twice a day stuck to my diet and oh my god I didn't drink can you believe it I was a wreck and there was alcohol in the house and I still didn't drink and this is just honest as I can be but I really really think not drinking has made this so much easier because when I went through a traumatic situation with a dog last year all I did was drink and I'm still recovering from it because it just elongated the process it just made me more depressed because alcohol is a depressant and it just intensified my sadness it, it, there was no way it numbed it I was just sadness was where I lived so I feel stronger because I can think so clearly I can think rationally about this decision and euthanization is the most selfless thing you can do. It is the kindest thing you can do for anyone and it is a blessing that we're able to do it and that we were able to have someone come to our home in peace and kindness. And like I said in the post I made about him, there was not one day where Noodles did, lived a bad life. Like every day he lived 10 out of 10. And being able to have those memories is a blessing. So even though they're gone, being able to store those memories is such a blessing. So a few days ago, I made the decision to book a trip to Niagara Falls where I'm going to spread some of his ashes. And I'm really excited to take a drive with these assholes. They're going to have fun. So that's the update. Ain't no quitter. And this is, this is a mess. But thank you guys for checking in on me. I'll have the energy to check on you soon. <laughs>